We're going on a road trip on the Super 200. Come on, let's go. Alright, after teasing this highway for so many months now, I'm finally able to make the Super 200. The Super 200 consists of Idaho 200, Montana 200, North Dakota 200, and Minnesota 200. It is a 1300 mile road that it consists of these four highways and also goes through some very beautiful scenery and through a very sparse area. So let's get started with the Super 200. If you've been enjoying my highways content or any of my other content, be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you're notified all of all my future highways videos. And guess what? I'm now open to extra requests. All the future highways I'm going to be doing are listed down in the description below. So if you want any extra requests in the, for the future highways, be sure to look down in the description and put your request down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to shout you out. Let's get started with the highway. So this is our map here. Uh, the Super 200 begins here at a junction with US 295 in Sandpoint, travels through Idaho and ent enters into Montana where it travels through 707 miles of Montana and then enters into North Dakota and then finally entering into Minnesota where it ends at US 2 in the middle of nowhere. So that would be talking about eastbound the Super 200. So we begin here in Sandpoint, Idaho where we have an exit for US 2 West in the Super 200. And when we go onto the ramp here we have an option to turn on Idaho 200 East which we'll be doing and we're assigned for Clark Fork. As we head towards Clark Fork, we pass by some beautiful scenery here in Idaho. And this is the town of Clark Fork. This is actually very pretty here. And shortly after, we enter into the state of Montana. And in our first mile of town in Montana, we get Thompson Falls, 51 miles later. And then Plains, it's 76. And Missoula on the bottom line at 154. So that's cool. This is the town of Thompson Falls, Montana. It's very pretty, it looks like it, with all those mountains in the background. Once we leave the Thompson Falls area, we get another mileage shine. We get planes on the top line at 24 miles away, and then Ravelli at 64 miles away. What happened to Missoula? We were signed for Missoula like at the entrance of the state. Why not keep it up here? And then here in the Ravelli area, we're meeting US-93 and US-93 and 200 are going to be concurrent with each other as we head towards Missoula. In fact, Missoula is now on the bottom line once again and it's 36 miles away from here. And here is an air shield that I showed from my air shields video. Apparently Montana wants to sign this as a US highway. And I kind of agree with them. It's a 1300 mile road consisting of four state highways with the number 200. And it connects US 2 from what in Idaho to US 2 in Minnesota. So I don't see why it couldn't be a US highway. Also, this is at the Interstate 90 junction. And here we're meeting Interstate 90. We're going to be taking 90 east here. And on Interstate 90, the Super 200 is splitting off from uh, Interstate 90 to head east towards Bonner and Great Falls. Great Falls is a great choice because that's the next major city that Montana Highway 200 is going to be passing through. In fact, Great Falls is on our bottom line at 160 miles away. As we head towards Great Falls, we enter into some plains area as we head out of the mountains. And now we're meeting U.S. Highway 89 and U.S. 89 and Montana 200 are being concurrent with each other as we head towards Great Falls. Here in the Great Falls area, we're meeting Interstate 15 and U.S. 89 and the and Montana 200 is going to be joining U Interstate 15 South. And here is the split from Interstate 15. Instead of a city, we just get 10th Avenue South. Why, Montana? Why? That should have a city on there. That should be Lewistown or something. Not a street. Now we're meeting US Highway 87 and US 87, 89 and the Super 200 are all going to be concurrent with each other as we head toward the Lewistown. And in fact, Lewistown is our next major city, which is on the bottom line, 104 miles away. 
And here's where US 89 splits off from Montana 200 and US 87. And once US 89 leaves, we get a Billings on the bottom line at 200 miles away. That's pretty cool. And here in Lewistown, we're meeting US 191. And once we leave Lewistown, we still get Billings on the bottom line at 129 miles away. And this is where US 87 is splitting off from the Montana 200 to head towards Billings. But now we're heading east towards Jordan. In fact, Jordan is now our bottom line city at 100 miles away. I kind of agree with that because there's really nothing out here in eastern Montana that is majorly big. And this is the town of Jordan. As you can see, it's pretty small, but then again, so is every eastern Montana town out here. And this is at the Montana 26 junction, and Montana 26 and 200 are going to be joining with each other to head towards Sydney and Watford City. And shortly after, we're entering into the state of North Dakota, and we now become North Dakota 200. And our first junction in North Dakota, this is at the North Dakota 58 junction. North Dakota 58 signed in North Fort Williston, while we're heading east towards Watford City, which I think is a good choice. Because like Montana, there is nothing out here in North Dakota. And here are crossing over the Yellowstone River. And on the other side, we're meeting US Highway 85 and US 85 in North Dakota 200 to have a short currency. And this sign here is right before the North Dakota 200 and US 85 split. And North Dakota 200 is going to be signing East for Killdeer, which I think is a good choice. Because you do meet North Dakota 23 there, and there's also really nothing out here to sign beyond that. And here's the actual split from US 85, as North Dakota 200 is going to be following this road here. And here in Kildeer, we have another mileage, a mileage sign at the junction, and we're now signed for Beulah. And this Beulah is like 6,000 times bigger than the one in Wyoming. And we actually get some snow here, up in North Dakota. After passing through Beulah, we're meeting US Highway 83, and US 83 and North Dakota 200 are going to be forming a small concurrency here. And now we get Bismarck on the bottom line at 56 miles away, which is, I think, a good choice. And here's where North Dakota 200 is splitting off from U US 83, and it's signed for Turtle Lake. Uh, I don't know about that. I'd actually do Carrington from here, because that's the next major town from here. And plus, Turtle Lake is on North Dakota 41, not North Dakota 200. From once we split it off from US 83, it looks absolutely boring. Like, it looks so boring that I feel bad for the guy who drove the Google Street View car through this. It looks like there's nothing there. I bet he lost his mind after traveling, what, like 10 miles or something along this road? And here we get a random mileage sign at one of the small North Dakota junctions. And we get Mercer! No! It's following us here! No! And this here is at the North Dakota 3 and North Dakota 200 junction. And we're now signed East for Herdsfield, which I don't think is a good choice. That should be Carrington. Honestly, Carrington should have been signed from when it split off from US 83. And here in Herdsfield, North Dakota 3 is splitting off from North Dakota 200, and now we're finally signed for Carrington, which is 40 miles away. <laughs> Now we're meeting US Highway 52, and I'm going to be skipping the 52-200 concurrency because I showed it in my US 52 video, which you're welcome to watch, which is right up here. Now we're splitting off from North US 52, and it's, uh, now we're signed North for Cooperstown. Did, did New York follow us here too? What's the deal with these northeastern states following us into North Dakota? Now we get Cooperstown on the bottom line, which is 47 miles away. And this here is the town of Cooperstown, North Dakota, and the only major junction here is North Dakota 45. And sadly, there is no Baseball Hall of Fame here. 
And here in Cooperstown, we're now getting Finley at 19 miles away. And this is here is in Finley, we're meeting North Dakota 32. And North Dakota 200 is going to be taking an east, uh, turn here to head east towards Interstate 29. And this is here in Mayfield, and now we just get Junction Interstate 29, which is 12 miles away. Which I think it's a good choice because there's literally nothing between Maysfield and Interstate 29. Now I'm in Interstate 29 and US Highway 81, and sadly we get no control cities for this highway. Now we're crossing over the Red River into the state of Minnesota. And now we get a welcome to Minnesota sign here in the, in the winter time. And once we enter into Minnesota, we meet US Highway 75 and Minnesota 200 and US 75 have a small concurrency with each other. Now we're splitting off from US 75 here in more snow scenery. Now we get Ada on the top line at 14 miles away and we get Mahoman at 41. Which I think Mon Mahoman is a good choice because you meet US 59 there. Now we're meeting US 59 and Mahoman. Now we get a three line mileage sign. We get if we get Roy Lake, which is 20 miles away, Streckle at 28, and then it it's Saska. It it is Ska, I don't know. And then some state park at 44 miles away. And US Highway 71 and US 71 and Mon Minnesota 200 is gonna have a short concurrency. And this is where US 71 splits off from Minnesota 200, as Minnesota 200 is now going to head east toward Duluth and US 2. And instead of those, we get Laporte at 7 miles away and Walker at 19. I should have Duluth on there. And this here is Walker, Minnesota. This actually looks like a pretty decent town. I'd like to visit it one day. And once we exit out of Walker, we get Hill City on the bottom line at 47 miles away. Again, I think you still should have Duluth on this mileage sign here. Here in Hill City, we're meeting US 169, and now we're heading towards US 2. In fact, US 2 is now on our bottom line at 26 miles away, and we get Jacobson at 16. Now we're meeting Minnesota 65, and Minnesota 65 is going to be joining Minnesota 200. And once they split off from Minnesota 65, now we get US 2 9 miles away, and then Duluth 60 miles away. And I think that is a good choice because there's nothing on Minnesota 200 for its last 9 miles. And at US2, we get a nice end sign for Minnesota 200, and that also ends the Super 200 wing. So with that, we're going to be talking about the way it should be for the Super 200. So this is what I think it should be on the Super 200 eastbound. First, I'd actually skip the Idaho town because there's nothing major there, and they're really small. And start with Thompson Falls, Montana then Plains, Montana, then Missoula, Montana. Then actually, I like the idea of Great Falls. Then after that, I would do Lewistown, Montana, then Billings, Montana, then Jordan, because again, there's nothing out there between Billings and Sydney. Then after that, I'd actually do Sydney to Montana, and then Watford City, North Dakota, and then Kildeer, North Dakota, then Hazen, North Dakota, then Washburn, North Dakota, then Carrington from Washburn and the split with US 83. And after that, I'm going to be doing Mayville. And then after that, I'll do Halstead, Minnesota. And then after Halstead, Minnesota, I'll do Ada, Minnesota. And then Mahoman. And then US 71 because, there, again, there's nothing out there in Minnesota. And after US 71 split, I'd actually do Walker, then Hill City, then finally Duluth. But it's fine if you have Walker and Hill City on the same line because ultimately I think Duluth should be signed from the US 71 split. So that ends the Super 200 Eastbound. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of the Super 200. I hope you guys enjoyed going through this beautiful scenery on this very desolate road on these four state highways number 200. 
So after this, my next few highlights I plan is doing the westbound of the Super 200. I also do be doing a uh, US 27, it's old route through Michigan before it's truncated to Fort Point, Indiana. And I'm going to be taking a short break to prepare for the US 20 marathon in May. And after that, I'm going to be doing US Highway 421. So if you have an exit request for any of these three highways shown here, or the Super 200 westbound, please put them down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.